All right, all right. Good evening and good night, and welcome to the It's Your Perspective talk show. It is uh, Tuesday, July 26, 2016. My name is David, a.k.a. Kimba, a.k.a. Christian Longside. Soup. Yeah, Soup, we back? Yes, I. I uh, just want to say once again, this is the It's Your Perspective talk show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. until. Uh, we do have a telephone number, 340 You can also text us on that number as well. And we are www.streaminglife on the vi.com. And streaming live from the VR at yahoo.com. Yeah, man. So uh, for our guest tonight, we are in a high-tech, low-tech studio. Coming to you from an undisclosed location here in St. Croix, Virgin Islands. No radio or TV, internet only. So get your smartphone, your iOS, your Android, your iPad, your Mac, your Windows, uh, PC, or one of your browser. Type in streaming live from the vi.com to be able to see the show tonight in its entirety. All our recorded live shows on youtube.com and ustream.tv. Search for our channel and It's Your Perspective Talk Show. Yeah, we got two Facebook pages, It's Your Perspective Talk Show and streaming live from the vi.com. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, all our classmates, CHS class of 1982. Big up to the whole entourage there. Yes, sir. And to all our past guests, thanks for being on our show. Yeah, super. We're also on Twitter. Yes, Tweet sir. with us as well there. Uh, yeah, man, Kim, on this show, you know we are moving straight forward and up. The show mission is to inform, enlighten, and to entertain. That's it, man. And our sponsors, parties, uh, Maggie's Party Decor and Supersonic Computer Services and uh, Add a Touch Boutique here in Sunny Isles, Mini Mall, St. Croix, Virgin Islands. Uh, so as we go out here, we do have some special guests in the studio. There they are right there. You guys wave to the crowd. You guys are streaming out live wow. and direct <laughs> worldwide. Wow. Thanks for coming on the show tonight. Uh, this is the, uh, if, I, if I got this correctly, this is the uh, 10 Sleepless Nights Cultural Committee. That is correct? Yep. That is correct. Yep. Okay. Uh, so tell us who you are real quick. Uh, my name is Kendall Henry. I am the chairperson of the Tennessee Plus Next Cultural Committee. Okay. My name is Lori Thomas Jacobs, and I'm the public relations officer. Okay. I is the boss of the band. <laughs> yes, <Stanley>. I. <laughs> the boss of the band. I like that one. Okay. Well, uh, thank you guys for coming out uh, tonight. Um, so we have... Um, a couple, a couple big events coming up that you guys want to talk about. Uh, the first one is um, the Quail Bay, the Quail Bay event. Is that? Yes, uh, yes that's correct. Quail Bay downtown. Quail, Quail Bay downtown. downtown. Okay. That's the name of it. Okay. Um, so, kind of help me here, Laurie, um, uh, and um, and we have somebody else in the studio too. He's off camera. Edgy, uh, say, say, say your name there. Okay, <laughs> you, you got that mic on there. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. all right, man, we got you. Um, so, how, so we're gonna do this uh, this um, uh, voiceover. Is that how you want to call it? So I'm gonna put up the uh, the Quail Bay uh, Quail Bay downtown uh, poster. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Mary, Susan, Agnes, are you ready? Company, Hempick Park and the surrounding streets will come alive on Saturday, August 6, 2016, when Stanley and the Ten Sleepers Nights will shut down Christian Said with Quelbe Dong Dong. A coming together of various musical artists, local vendors, higher cultural dancers, guardian of angel culture Muko Jumbis, and much more for your entertainment and enjoyment. This promises to be the largest community event to ever hit the streets of Christian said, don't hear about it, be a part of it. Saturday, August 6, 2016, 6 p.m. to 12 midnight. Local food and drinks will be on sale. Proceeds benefit the 10 Sleepless Nights Scholarship Fund, sponsored by the 10 Sleepless Nights Inc. and the 10 Sleepless Nights Cultural Committee. Now, salute! All right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> That's, right. Yes, yes, yes. That's it right there, man. <laughs> all right, guys, so let's uh, let's talk a little bit about this this particular event he just did there. Um, Quail Bay Downtown is coming up um, August 6th, a Saturday. So tell us a little bit about it, the details. Uh, he kind of went over some of the details there, but uh, kind of give us a little bit more insight. Into well, it's going to be in Limbrick Park. Limbrick Park is um, next to Post Post Bank. Bank in, Chris, in King Street, right. Christianstead. And um, that, that's a park that I, I think they it been closed for rolling years. Right. From the time I've been a child, that place, it always had a bunch of, it looked like a jail. Yes. And, and the gate was always yes. locked. Mm -hmm. I remember we used to jump over there just 
just to say what they did. Right. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> but now they they open it, they, they opening it, and they, they got functions in you know, okay. you know, social functions, and we gonna keep one on the sixth of August. Is there entry fee to come to this? No, no entrance fee. No, no. It's, it's open to the public. Okay. To come and patronize and listen to sweet Caribbean music. Okay, good. And dance. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The way I put it is, um, the young people them have dong tong shut down. <laughs> this is the old people them version of dong tong shut down. Well, be dong tong. <laughs> We're shutting down the streets from the old Scotia Bank. Yes. Mm -hmm down to the old lieutenant governor's office we'll have moko jumbies we'll have quadrille dancers and if you want to dance quadrille sure join right in we have stanley and the 10 sleepless nights we have mind body and soul we have um kevin williams jr doing his thing on his steel pan he is just taking the island by storm, by storm. Yes, yes he sir. is definitely yes, talented. yes, he yes. Is. very very talented yes, he is. so we've got and we have some vendors also that will be having food and drinks on sale um this as we said before in the advertisement is to benefit the um the scholarship fund right um so we're asking everyone to come on out participate in the activity Support our our vendors, support our sponsors, and just be there and enjoy themselves because every little bit helps and it goes towards the scholarship fund. Speaking yeah, of... This, let me explain what the scholarship is for um, uh, graduating high school students who, okay. who have uh, expressed uh, interest in music right. and, and, uh, and we want to emphasize school band music. Okay. And um, it, the um, the thing is that they have to have they have to qualify for the for the scholarship. And the qualifications for the scholarship is they have to have a min minimum three point average. Okay. Um, the grade, what do you call it, grade? Grade point. The grade average. level. Grade point. Right. I've been out of school so long. Yes, yeah. right. <laughs> 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 then then they they have to have a have applied to a, a college right. any anyway in, in the states or we, for UVI. A lot of them that we gave already went to UVI, okay. but some of them went abroad, you know, right. went to the states. They have to have been accepted. Okay. And they have to have been the majoring in music. Okay. And we try to get get them to come back when they done the when they get is. a degree. Come back and get involved in music here. Okay. How long do the, how long does scholarship run for? One year, two year, three years? No, it's a it's a one time. It's a one time. It, okay, got you. It, yeah. So, got some you. we have given a couple of them twice because they, they need you know. Right. And, right. and also the fact that we didn't have any other applicants. Okay. So you know. Okay. But so, the thing is that they get a and 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 the thing because it depends on how much money we got because you know. We don't got the same amount of money. Right, 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 right. Right. So how many people do you like? Do you try to to, to, to help with the scholarship? One, two? Well, as much as as much as, as, you as apply uh, and, and qualify. Okay. You know, we last, we, we, you know, we started in 2007. Seven. 2007. Yes. You're doing this far? Okay, yes. nice. Yeah, and um, we we have only given out like seven times. Okay. Seven. Okay, I got I got, I got a couple of years that nobody didn't apply. Didn't like apply that. at all. Right. Wow. You know, okay. yeah, we we just send the application goes to the the principal, the guidance counselor, and the music teacher. Wow. Because uh, that them is so. Oh, yes, 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 definitely. Both public and private. Yes. Right. right. Both public and private. Yes. 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 Okay. And they they um they they um the one that closest to the music student the students interested in music okay gotcha. so that's how we give you know the applications too and then they they and so, so we have been um, they have recommended students to us too okay the, the, okay the music teacher okay for the, for the school well what prompted you to 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 walk this road to, to start to, to um to give scholarship yes well we were we were teaching students at um com complex and and we noticed that um, they were loaded with talent, my son. Okay. You know, we noticed the, the, the heap of talent. And also, we, we also noticed that 
you know, then everybody able to, to afford to go right, to school. So right. we said, well, maybe we could help somebody. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. Be, being among the students, I like to come to. Yes, you know? most definitely. So most definitely. Th that's how it came about. And it, it started in 2007. Okay. Did, did you have anybody that has, has got the scholarship and did the four years of school and come yeah. back already? Oh, yes. Yes, we, we have um, yeah. Eric, Eric Willie, who is uh, the music director down to Arthur Richards okay, Junior High school. school. Sasha. And we also have Sasha Alexander, Alexander, who is the band director at Elena Christian. Yes. Junior okay. High school. Yes. And we also have Christine Rice, who will be returning home very, very soon. So we have we have students that um, have been in our program okay. that have been in the Quelbe, the Quelbe teachers of Ten Sleepless Nights that have come back home and pursuing and helping develop Quelbe music in in the public schools. Okay. Cool. Yeah, our mission has always been to to preserve our music and to to perpetuate it, yes. keep it going. Yes. You know. Yes. Okay. And, so and this is the way. So Quelbe Downtown is the first of like many events, right? I thought I saw something somewhere. I guess it's like many other events. Is this? Yes. Well, is that the yes. first of many events? This is uh, one, of many. Going, one of many. Events. Okay. One of many. Yeah, right. one of many events. And Miss Thomas, Miss Miss Jacobs will will um, list the other activities that we have. <laughs> yeah. So is, is is the first one just for the scholarship, or are they all for? No. The, the, the it's all for the scholarship. All of our activities yeah. are to benefit the, the scholarship, scholarship fund. fund. Okay. Let right. me ask you this one quick question too about Saturday, about next week Saturday. The street's going to be having activities too. You're having activities in the streets also? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. In the park and out. In the oh, park, park and out. out. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Our vision is to have the vendors inside the park uh -huh. and the band playing inside the park, but the moko jumbies and the dancers right. should be in the street. On the street. Okay. And the general public, of course. Okay. Of course, it's subject to change. Yes. You know, but um, that is basically what we're envisioning right oh. now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, some of the other activities that we are looking at are we're looking at Kuelbe Meets Soka. <laughs> it's a musical playoff. Okay. We're looking at we have Kuelbe Downtown coming on the 6th. We're also looking at a, a old time cultural fun day. Okay. We're having a soup sale on August 5th, the day before the day before, right. the, day before the Quelbe shutdown. Quelbe mm -hmm. downtown, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, let me let me let me put yeah. up the flyer real quick before you go on there about the uh, the food the soup sale. Yes. yes. Uh, so just real quick, tell us about that. Okay, all of our activities are geared towards um, raising monies for our scholarship fund, and as such, we try as much as possible to get little activities here and there to to boost the monies that we're going to need to give to any child who receives the, the monies from the scholarship fund. The soup sale is scheduled for Friday, August 5th, and it will be held uh, in the family florist area of the La Grande Princess in, um, in by James. James Funeral Home. Thank okay. you. Yes. Um, we have regular Kalalu, seafood Kalalu, red pea soup regular, that means they got all the pork and all of that good stuff in it. <laughs> and then we'll have the red pea soup with smoked turkey for those of you who don't eat the good stuff. <laughs> okay? And all of them, the large container, 32 ounces, $15. Okay. Okay. $15 for whichever one you choose. Okay? Okay. You can pick up your soup between the hours of 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. And we ask you to please place your order in advance. You call out the number to the And team. you can contact Miss Susie Bow James at 340-626-0837. She's a chef? No, she's not. Okay. She's actually the point of contact for receiving the order so that we can have um, some control with regards to yes. yeah, the orders you. coming in. Right. Um, if you want to contact other individuals who are members of the cultural committee, you can do so, and I'm sure you you may you will see our flyer on different Facebook pages. It's on the Stanley on the Ten Sleepless Night ten, um, Facebook page. Um, individuals from the committee has also copied the flyer and shared it on their page. If you see it on someone's page and you want to contact them, you can do so. They can take an order. 
from you. Right. The other members of the committee are Charlita Shang, she's our treasurer. Delita Civil, she's the chairperson of the Guava, Ver Guava Berry Festival. Mr. Elroy Gerard, Kendall Henry here has introduced himself as the chair of the cultural committee. We have Ms. Kim Basil, she's the secretary to the cultural committee and she's also the chair of the Quelbe Meet Soka. Mr. Larry Larson, he's the president of 10 Sleepless Nights, he's an advisor to the committee. Yours truly, Laurie Thomas Jacobs, Public Relations. Patricia Brown. Patricia Clendenin De Soto, she's the chair for Quelbe Downtown. Sharon Hill, she's the chair for the All Time Cultural Fund Day. Mr. Stanley Jacobs here, the band leader, he's also an advisor to the committee. Suzette Bow James and Xanthia Jacobs, they're over the soup and cake sales. The core group is made up of the individuals I just called out. However, individuals from the committee are called upon to lend their expertise to ensure successful events. And at this time, I'd like to say thank you all for your support. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, so Stanley, how, how, how has been the young people, the youth stem in our school been responding to Quarterbay? Do you go into the schools now and, and, and do anything with them at this present time? Not right now. We haven't okay. been in for a while. Okay. But when we, when we, when we, use, when we were going, it was... They, they, they you know, what's imp what impressed me is, is that the, the children actually like it because, you know, we got a, a, a idea in our head that um, that the, the the youth only like to hear the you know the, the modern the beginning bam music, right, you know. Right, yeah. And we don't think that that's all they like, right. but w when they hear our music, they, they like it for sure. They like it for sure. So, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. It, uh, that, that that's that's why um the. the the complex band will come up so good, they, they, and, and they they playing now. Right, right. Yes. So, you know, we trained them. We trained them years ago, and now from the two in the two thousand five, six, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Right. From there, they yeah. they, they um and, and they they that that group still they are still play. Mm. Okay. And they you know they really like it, okay. you know, and and they they passing it on to the rest of them. So that that's the idea, you know. Okay. But okay. we we need to we need to get it. Um, it some more. In, into the elementary school, right. which we used to do before. Okay. But you know, it, it, it was <clears throat> because it's it wasn't um, part of the curriculum. It, it wasn't as easy to get, get, to get into. The, it, right. that, yeah. uh, we used to go. Still, you know, we used to bypass gag, go, uh, yes, lunch, going yes, lunch yes, time, yes. or going after three o'clock after school, no? right, right. like that. And the children, you know, they're responding to. I'm it. telling yes. you, you know, this, this is. It's amazing. Okay. Okay. But you know, if, if they would only make it part of the curriculum, right? You gotta enforce it. You gotta. You got uh, then, then it, it would be it'd be home free. Okay. Yeah. So, so how far does Quelbe go back? Can you give us like a little quick history lesson on uh, well, sort the, of the, yeah the, the, the very very beginnings? The, the, you know, the very the very beginnings would be the, the drumming. The drumming, yes. The drumming because that, that's what that's the first thing. What I learned about. Our music is that at first it was it, they used to call it skin music, which um, involved uh, uh, it actually was the first thing was a bass drum, and they used to make bass drum out of um, keg. They used to had kegs that that um, small keg. You don't see them anymore, so right. it's hard to describe it. Right. It looked like a barrel, you yes. know. The, a miniature barrel. The, yeah, yeah um, the diameter on the top and the bottom is smaller than the diameter in the middle. Right. Oh, okay. Got, got yes. like a belly. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the drums them used to be made out of them, them kegs. And what kind of skin they were using? Goat. Goat skin. And uh, they always use a, a ram and a yo. Okay. A ram goat skin on one side and a yo goat skin, skin on the, the next, next side. side. Okay. And they used to, and way part you beat the drum is on the ram side. Okay. And um, they, that was the, the rhythm for, for the skin music. Okay. The, um, part of the skin music was carisso. And the, but the carisso drum was, was a little bigger than the, the bass drum for the, for the skin music. Okay. It was bigger. It, as a matter of fact, 
one of the man them that was playing the drum used to actually sit down and let the guy the drum laying down, laying down and, and, and you know, straddle, the, straddle the drum right. and, and, and the, the skin there in front and, and beat, it beat it like that. that. Right, right. And, and then the next man will have a, a, a piece of stick and he keep in a rhythm, hit, 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 hit in the side of the barrel. And, and, uh, and the singer was, 99% of the time was a woman. Okay. Cariso. Okay. And, and they, they used to go around in a house and cat, you know, through the village right. singing and make, making that music. Okay. So after that, they started to add the snare. Well, it's a snare drum now. Today they call it snare. Okay. But in them days, they used to call it kettle. Okay. Kettle drum. Right. And they call it kettle drum because they used to make it out of a kettle. Oh, okay. You know what a kettle looks yes, like? Yeah, it? Yeah, and they used to take off the bottom and put the, the, the top open. Uh, they used to take off the bottom and put skin. Put skin in there, okay. And then, uh, yeah, and then, then the, the, what do you call them thing? What, what do make the, the rattle? What do you call that? The shock shock. The shock shock. What, 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 Oh, the, it, um, it will go across the, the oh, skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the bottom of the snare drum. And the bottom of yeah. the snare drum, yeah. yeah. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. It, yeah. That, that is made out of wire now. Wire, now, yeah. Right? Yeah. In them days, you Wire and like beads. Yeah, you yeah. take goat skin. And make that strip, skin. strip, strip it. it. Strip it and, 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 and twist it. Twist it and, and then a whole heap of them, you know. And, uh, the and let it cross the, the one, one skin. And then they use the, the drum like that. Yeah. Okay. So that that used to be the... That's the well Indian music, and then they used to. They used to well, that was one one kind of uh, predecessor to Kuelbe. Then the other one was when they used to sing with like Cariso. Uh -huh. And after a while, they started to add guitar, mm. and then banjo and so. And then they 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 start. One of the first lead instruments was the violin. The violin. Yeah, the violin came before the flute. Oh, okay. And they, they had the violin, then they had the they had violin, guitar, banjo, um, squash and steel, and pipe. Okay. <clears throat> the, after they 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 done with the, the bass drum, the, 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 the bass drum was a, a different, that was for wild Indian. Okay. They used the pipe as a bass, um, a, a pipe made out of a car. Muffler. Yeah, muffler. Muffler pipe. pipe. Yeah. Yes. Muffler pipe. Yes. And that used to be the bass instrument. Oh, okay. That carried the, 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 you know, the low. The low frequency. The low frequency. Yeah. 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 And then the rest, as you, as you know, Kwabe music is, is, is very percussive. Each Percussion. instrument, if each instrument beats out a rhythm. Okay. Each one got their own rhythm going and, and they don't mesh. They mesh together. And your song, you know, good. Yes. Make you make you want to dance. What the word "kwelbe" means? In the, is there a, is there a meaning to "kwelbe"? That, that's a good one. Me, I never. All I know is that that's what they call <laughs> the, the music. The music. <laughs> okay. Yeah, "kwelbe." Okay. Okay. So Webster doesn't have a, a, a definition for that. <laughs> no, once I know, <laughs> once I know, not more <laughs> that. <laughs> that. <laughs> yes, I, yes. That's, 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 a, that's a good uh, trivia question. It's a dance, yeah. Yeah. It's a dance. Well, really the dance. Quite a bit of music, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. That's a good trivia question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we have been trying to find out where the word comes from for Toronto. Right. right. And it, it, you know, we can't, you can't, you can't, find, can't, way, can't find a way. way right. yeah. Yeah. Because, you see, the different island guide, they'll call it a different, a different, different name. name. Okay. Depending on where you go. I think Antigua, they'll call it Bena. Okay. And Jamaican, they'll call it Mento. Men or Menta, something like that. Okay. Mento. Mento. Mento, yeah. Mento, okay. And to the same music, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But they just, they, 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 they name. Right, right, right. So the DJ, they call it Fungi. Fungi, Fungi. Fungi music, yes. yes. <laughs> Fungi music, that's what they call it for sure. Yes, yes, yes. So how long you been heading up now with Stanley? I mean, how long you been up front now? Up front, where? Of uh, the band, of the group. I mean, how long have you been up front? 
Wanneer is dat op van? Bij de baas? Bij de baas van de tende baas? Dan ben ik... Ik ben de divas leader. 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 Okay, so you and that's a long time ago. Okay, <laughs> so, we, okay. so you didn't take over the ranch of somebody else. You were just always the boss. No, we make we make we start this. Um, you know. Okay. Or, or says, okay. Uh, okay. Forty-six. Well, we're forty-six with the name. We were playing before that. Okay. We okay. we used to go up Cremas Park and and uh, be jam session all the time. Okay. But we started with with drum drum alone. Okay. And okay. then we start to get these instruments. When we said they said we on start a band. This, this is the in instrument, the only instrument we had was Quebec instrumentation. Right. As, and, and we had big ideas, you know, we're going to play salsa, we didn't <laughs> call it salsa then. We're going to uh, call it uh, mambo and things. Right, right. We're going to play merengue, we're going to play all kind of, you know, jazz and things. That's what we that had in our head. That was the vision you had. Right? But the instrument then we had was pipe. Not, we didn't even have a pipe. <laughs> we had steel squash guitar, ukulele, ukulele. and flute. And uh, no, nobody didn't want to to play the pipe because it, it takes too much. It had, yeah, yeah. I could, I could, I had learned to play it, but it swelled my lips, so I couldn't do it neither. Okay. But then okay. you can't play two one time. So right. Okay. Um, we AG uh, make a um, a bass with his steel band experience. <coughs> he make a when when we had no bass, he take a barrel, a, a garbage pan. Uh -huh. And make a two boom bass out of it. Okay. You know, put a, a sink, a, a groove in the middle. Right, and right. Make a high, because the, the bass usually is a high and a low note. Okay. High and low. Like that. Right, mm -hmm. right. And you do that with all kind of man, you can make a hip style with it. You know? okay. okay. And that that uh, that became our bass. And we were playing that bass for man, a long time. How long we play, we play with that man? A little bit of a long time. Everywhere we go, we make a new bass. Take up somebody that's trying to make a new bass. So we're going to travel with that. Right, right. No, no, I can't go with that. So, Sally, where, where, where have your travels taken you, take, taken you to over the last time? Because I know you guys are kind of everywhere. We, uh, well, we, the farthest we've been was Denmark. Okay. And we're going again this year. This year? Next yeah, next month. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But we've been, um, we've been, um, well, St. Thomas, St. John, Totola, Virgin Gala, Just Van Dyke, Antigua, um, New York, Miami, New Orleans. Okay. Um, well. We're on the West Coast? Anywhere in the West Coast? No, no, we ain't gone so far yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. San Antonio, that's the okay. farthest okay. west. Uh, with the Spurs. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. For Timmy, yeah. Yeah, right, right. Okay. Yeah. So Stanley, are you a self-taught musician or you went to school to learn music? Yeah, I, I didn't go to school. I, didn't, I don't have any, I wasn't, in them days they had no formal teaching. Okay, like, you so know, you just. Yeah, somebody, somebody who, who, you know, friend show you to play yes, an right. instrument. Okay. okay. Uh, learn to play guitar when I was well, like six years old. Okay. And, and Stanford Simmons showed me about the flute, showed me how to make it and to play it. Right. And then they had a band I used to play with them. I start playing steel and then I play squash, ukulele, and then, you know, and then, okay. then uh, Stanford showed me the flute and I en ended up, you know, playing the flute. And, and he, he gave me the leadership of that band too, you know. The Simmons brothers. Right, right, yeah. He, he, he tell yeah, me I, I, I should lead. Well, in, the, in those days, the flute was the, the lead, music the lead instrument, instrument. And, and that person was the leader of the band. Okay. That, that's okay. how it was then, then days. All right. So how, how many songs you got now? How many albums, any CDs? Wow. I mean, how many? Uh, About 15. 15? About that, I, I ain't know exactly, but it's in that part, part somewhere around there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, how, right. often, how often do you make an album? How often do you bring out your new music? How well, right? it, 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 it doesn't, it's not, it ain't got a schedule. It, it, Just however you feel. Yeah, it come up. Yes, you, we used to do plenty before, but we, we Can't used to slow down now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, them boys ain't no problem. That's all in the mind, man. That's all in the mind. So well, that's what you, what's not the first time I went to the States uh -huh. when and I went to school up there, you know? Okay. And it started to get cold, like I said, man, 
a properly cool on you. You know, you know what they tell me, what you just say? That's all in your mind. Dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's hot and it'll be hot, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so do the community, do the foundation do any outreach to the community or anything like that? Any, any special things going on within the community? Well, what, what we do for the community uh, is what we have always done, which is we play free for children, any children function. Yes. Any senior citizen function. Okay. okay. We, are, we don't charge them. We don't charge them. They play church for church free. Okay. You know, like that. We are playing. Well, it look like we're getting religious now. We are playing a lot of church now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know when when you start to get um, get age, when you start to get age, <laughs> you, you know get religious. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, can't sin no more. All right, all so. right. Okay. So so you, the, the, the young is free and the, and the elderly are free, and so you're just in the middle. Is who you who who, who pays for the for you guys to show up? Yeah, it depends. Well, if there's our friend, we pay for them free. So. Right, right, right. <laughs> and family. Yes, yes, yes. As a matter of fact, I could tell you that upwards of 60% of our gigs are free. Yes, okay. And in spite of that, we, we still we have, still maintain. we still make enough money to give a, a child a scholarship. Yes, yes, that's nice. That's a beautiful thing. So, place. you know, we do you know. You see how you see how it works. Get, you give, give it back yeah. when you, back when you, you. yeah, exactly. when you get. Yes. Like old Sparrow said, when you give your get. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So you gonna have any new music out for this this holiday season coming up? New music, man. No, I maybe. <laughs> so you, we we it, 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 ain't, it ain't in the back of your head, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, Lori, run th run through the event real quick. Quelby downtown. Kind of give us the details real quick again. Okay, um, Quelbe Downtown will be held on Saturday, August 6th, beginning at 6 p.m. until midnight in Olympic Park, Christianstead. It's a coming together of various musical artists, local vendors, II Cultural Dancers Inc., Guardians of Culture Mokojumbis, and much more for your entertainment and enjoyment. Food and drink will be on sale. We have individuals such as Kevin Williams Jr. on his, his steel pan. We have Mind, Body and Soul, the, the um, Police Athletic League band. We have, of course, Stanley and the Ten Sleepless Nights. We have the Moko Jumbis, the Quadril Dancers. Um, am I missing anybody? Doc Peterson. Doc Peterson. Oh, yeah. yeah. Doc sing. Peterson will be Dark singing. singing? Yes. Yeah, oh, Doc yeah. Peterson will be singing. Okay. And, um, who knows, we may have some surprises in between there yeah, too. True um, <laughs> I, I, I must say that um, a lot of people are concerned because Saturday, August 6th is also primary election day. Well, Guess in, what? That's in the day. That's in the daytime. Thank the day you time. very much. So that's in the daytime. That's in the daytime. <laughs> After you finish casting your vote, just head down Come up to Christianstead and enjoy Quelbe Dong Tong. It promises to be something you will truly enjoy. Okay. And we look forward to seeing you. So this is this is the first time you guys are gonna be downtown. Any, any Stanley, have you ever performed downtown at all, or not in that, not in that place. Not okay. that place. We okay. we, we play just about every other place in Saint Croix. Okay. But that, not in there. Okay. And the committee have has <coughs> never, never done an event in in, in Christian State town like like uh, this. I just mark the two that right. 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 Okay. Okay. So this is the first of many. Event okay. that is going to be happening in Christian okay, City area. Yeah. Okay. So, Casey, okay, so you still dancing? You, you still performing? Yeah, yeah, man. I still perform. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. And um, the other thing, too, is the uh, the, the food sale. The soup sale. The soup sale. Yeah. 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 Run through that. Soup, That's soup, 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 soup sale. Soup <laughs> sale. <laughs> no soup. We're not selling you. <laughs> the yeah, soup right. sale is going to be held on Friday. August 5th and it will be held in in the little area next to Family Florist in La, La Grand Princess. We ask that you please place your orders in advance. Contact Susie Bow James at 340-626-0837. So I'm so trying to read the screen. Let me see if I got it right. Is it 0837? Yeah, 0837. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's correct. We've got regular Kalaloo, Seafood Kalaloo, we have 
regular red pea soup. <laughs> that means that is red pea soup mm -hmm. with all <laughs> the trimmings. <laughs> yes, yeah, that, that, all the trimmings. That's okay? red pea soup. That is red pea soup. soup. The other, the that's other what one, we have. The other, the other thing soup. that we having is red pea soup. soup. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that has that has the uh, smoked turkey in. <laughs> for those of you who don't eat the trimmings that's found in the regular yes, sir. And okay. all of that for one price 32 ounces 15 dollars uh, yes okay yes. So and remember you purchase a container of soup or soap however you want to call it right and that little bit goes to the scholarship fund okay Okay. okay. Right. Mario Mohead says one one full, full basket. basket. Yes, sir. Okay, so if all of us come together and we all purchase a container of soup, or soup, soup. soup or we soup. will make a contribution to the Ten Sleepless Nights Scholarship Fund. We will move music in the Virgin Islands forward, Quelbe music, and we will support our culture. Yes. We look forward to seeing you there. Okay. Thank you. Oh, God, God. Yes. Casey, you uh, having to add? Well, I mean, well, we have a, we have our Facebook page. Um, at Ten Sleepless Nights. Um, Bring the mic up a little. Yeah, oh, yeah. we have our Facebook page. Um, if you want to make an order, or you could go us and like us on, on Facebook. Um, go go ahead. We always op open to our fans on Facebook. Um, so. Come out, enjoy both events uh, back to back. Like I said, come and buy your soap, and then the next day come Christian Stead and dance your foot up. Yes, right. <laughs> yes, right. Okay. So um, I see you had placed your orders in advance. How 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 in advance they could call a day before or that same day? Yeah, you could call it day before. You could also show up okay. and, and buy buy soup on, on the spot. spot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ask about that. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, perfect, man. Um, you guys want to add anything else uh, to the conversation here? Well, I'd like to add, um, recognize the dates and the, um, the individuals who sure. received scholarships. Yes, okay. In 2007, Osvaldo Jose Rivera Gonzalez. 2009, Sasha Alexander. 2010, Eric Willie and Ernel Edmond. 2012, Christine Rice and Eric Willie, and Raoul Scatliff, and in 2015, Christine Rice. Okay. Other activities for the 10 Sleepless Nights, and our cultural committee. We have the 10 Sleepless Nights Hillsiders Kramer Park, yeah, what date is that? The so you had a date the set already? Saturday coming. Saturday coming also? That's, okay. that's, um, that's the Hillsiders. Okay. Um, but yeah. they are keeping every year. They've been keeping it. Uh, okay. It's 30 years, right? Yeah. There's a long time, you know. Okay. okay. They've been keeping it every, every year. A Krima Park? The, is, is yeah, the okay. Hillsiders. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. that's, a, that's a, a cultural event, a crucial cultural event. That is uh, enjoyed by all. The whole all. Okay. Yeah, everybody is up there. Okay. And they don't have food out your head, Mister. Okay. Cheese and bread. Food. Yeah. <laughs> food can die. Wow. Yes, yes. They're traveling to Denmark between August 17th to the 30th. Yeah, 17th. Mm -hmm. Two yeah. weeks, like a two weeks, son. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the Quadrille Festival. We're planning a Quadrille Festival. Um, of course, this date has not yet been um, set in stone. Okay. We're planning a quadrille festival. Um, Mr. Casey right here is supposed to be the chairperson of that. Okay. So maybe he could expand on it a little bit. Yes. Well, look, the, the quadrille festival, um, one of the many events that the cultural committee has been planning, is a, a cultural festival, quadrille cultural festival with all the adult groups here and St. Croix. Uh, we're going to start with the groups on St. Croix and then may, maybe expand to St. Thomas, BVI, Puerto Rico even. Nice. Um, so the different groups here we have at St. Croix, the St. Lucian, Creole Dancers, the, Dominic, the Dominica United Group, who also has a choir and dancers. Right. We have um, St. Croix Heritage Dancers. 
we have the Aya Cultural Dancers. So we have all the, the cultural groups here on the island of St. Croix com- coming together to share one common goal. Yeah. So that's what the, um, that, that particular event is about. Okay, great. We're looking at having an um, all-time cultural fun day where we will have all of the old time games and stuff that we played when we were growing up marble and jacks and cocks and jump rope and oh, yeah. yeah tree hole and yeah. all of that kind yeah. of stuff yeah. you know yeah. so we're looking Bring. forward to doing those things and um having that um old time cultural fun day um the guava berry festival everything guava berry anything you can possibly think of that could be made with guava okay. berry to eat to drink um should be there at the guava berry festival okay okay um um i'm not sure if this is going to happen but i would like to see it happen um traveling to crown bay for the lighting in saint thomas so it is it is happening that's an event that um the port authority of the Virgin islands have every year mm-hmm. what, what um, time of year is what time it's around christmas time christmas the first ending of november yeah okay. okay. end, end, end of november beginning december it's an annual thing now we've been doing it for the past three four years okay the tennessee brothers have uh, been invited over to st thomas to play for the lightning okay. on christmas street at uh crown bay in st thomas okay okay okay, okay. that's and a big event yeah very that's very a, a huge a huge yeah, event and that's something that we have it's been introduced um this committee will be having a a stanley award okay um a stanley award and banquet at um uh, botanical garden okay it's in judges um we are coming up with a list of um honorees Great. um that have uh, that have made a, a dent in Virgin Islands music history, yeah. and history so um local local for that is a is, is a is a dinner dance you don't hear about dinner dances anymore right right but it's a dinner dance okay. um, featuring standard and tennessee first okay 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 so you guys are real busy man yes right. and, and we just gave you a snippet we, a, we have a, a laundry list of <laughs> <laughs> activities yeah. you know so we just gave you a snippet as to okay. the activities that we have online and um what we're working towards because um, Stanley and the Ten Sleepless Nights, yes, they were a household name. They were a household name for the older generation. Mm-hmm. We're trying to make them a household name for younger generations and generations to come. Right, right. Okay? Um, by sponsoring um, these activities and raising funds for scholarship, of course, we're making sure that the individuals who receive these scholarships return to St. Croix and give back. Mm-hmm. And by them doing so, the culture, the, the, the scholarship will continue to grow. Mm-hmm. It will continue to be given. And in that way, even hopefully long after we're gone, it still will continue. There's still a progress. And that, that way, the Quelbe music, the culture, the life, Stanley and the Ten Sleepless Nights will just continue to go down yes. in history. It's the history, yeah. that's right. Yes. That's right. And, and, the, and the trip to Denmark is that is that for a specific cause or or what what's the uh, well, what's well the trip the trip to Denmark we're taking a um, a show to Denmark a Virgin Islands cultural show. Okay. okay. Um, we'll pre- we'll be presenting masqueraders, quadrant okay. dancers, mokojumbi, kariso singing, uh-huh. uh, kwelbe music. Um, so it's a it's a it's a real compact show that um, Stanley Jacobs, Larry Larson, um, Eugene Peterson have put together with the foundation that they have the cultural exchange right. um, um, organization. So we'll be going over to Denmark and putting on various shows throughout Copenhagen and 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 the country of Denmark. Okay. So these are events that that that. Standing on just be doing himself is not a part of anything else. Yeah, the show, the, um, the show will be. Do, yeah, we we are going to do the show in Denmark. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, thirty. Okay. It's about 30, 30, 30 members of the entire show. Okay. okay. And yeah, this is what we'll be doing. Okay. It is part of the. We have a cultural exchange program between Saint Croix and Denmark. Okay. Um, what we do? What over the years? You you have never heard about it, but. Over the years, they have brought, they have brought a lot of uh, well, we can't, not well. One band, well, they had a band that has 
they just play them them being people that play quite well like we. Okay. They play quite well. Okay. And then but they have these other ensemble, you know, they were the classic art music. Right. And then they have that steel band from them that they, they and then also they have a um, soccer players, you know, carry right. uh, carry Virgin Island. Yeah, soccer players. Play yeah. yeah. okay. Students, uh, students well. you know, children, you know. Right, yes. And um uh, as, and as a result, we got this exchange program between them and us. We going over there next, this year, and and they bring in a band from Denmark over here next year. Okay, okay. In March. In March for the one hundred. A, a big band. Like this, I think there's forty-five or fifty what? piece band. Okay. Wow. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 yeah, that kind of. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Okay. okay. You know, they turn into. One way, well, they they doing it, you know, with the centennial right. thing and so, and they they gonna be here, it, and then they gonna have a lot of a lot of Danish people here gonna be here, right. coming you know, for the for yeah. occasion yes. too. Right. And we have been there before, so you know, uh, this will be our fourth we, time. Y yeah, that's right. Fourth time. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, this will be okay. our fourth trip to Denmark. You mean that man? So they, they just they just love probably music over there. They just yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, with open arms. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They dance all the time, but they dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, the big event coming up here is um, August 6, thousand sixteen. It's Quelby downtown. Yeah. Uh, coming together, various musical artists, local vendors. Uh, culture dancers, guardians of the culture, mocha jumbies, and much, much more entertainment and enjoyment. Food and drinks will be on sale. That's at Limp, Limp, Rick. Park, Limp Park, Rick Park, Christianstead, uh, from 6 p.m. to 12 midnight. Uh, music by Stanley and Ten Slippers Nights and others. Uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but others. Mm -hmm. So come on out, and then on, on August 5th, yep, they got the, the big soup sale. The soup sale, the soup, soup. soup. And soup, soup and soup. Soup and soup. Soup and soup. Yes, they got that Kalalu regular, Kalalu seafood, red pea soup regular, and red pea soup smoked turkey. Yeah, and then um, moving on from August 6th, we have, uh, there'll be uh, many, many other places performing as well. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Are there any emails, any phone numbers, anything like that you want to share? Or? Any kind of media? Well, well, oh, yeah, well, well, like I said, we have the Facebook. Um, okay, gotcha, you gotcha. can inbox us at, at, at 10 Simplest Nights uh, on, on Facebook. And we will receive all of those messages. And also, we can place your order on, on, on Facebook on as Facebook well. Yes. Okay, okay. 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 okay, great, man. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming out. It's about 9.06 p.m. on July 26, 2016. I want to thank you guys for coming out to spend some time with us here and let us know about... Uh, this event coming up on August 6th, and I guess many others coming up for the rest of the year. Um, Soup, uh, any any final final words, man? Um, Saturday, we're going to be up Grandma Park. Okay. Okay. With the Hillsiders. Because all of all of we end up being Hillsiders. <laughs> <laughs> I got Gallus Bear and I don't know the hill from the Hillsiders. But, but we used to go up there and they used to come down. Oh, so okay. Okay. So, you know, it's Okay, so, said. okay, so it's a big up at uh, Kramer's Park. Yeah. Uh, east, the very east side of St. Croix. Uh, so, Supi, any final words? Yes, I'm um, Yark, Stanley, and the 10 Sleepers Nights, and the Foundation, and the 10 Sleepers Nights, Inc. Continue doing what you are doing for the community. Um, I know that great work, especially working with them youths. Um, Jagai, Rastafari, they want perfect love. Yeah, and I want to thank, 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 thank you guys for coming out. Continue working hard to... Uh, to provide good music, teach good music, and uh, we'll see you guys on uh, August 6th. Yes. And Edgy, yeah. we'll yeah. take it easy over there. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's right, we have Edgy, he's over there. You can't see him, but he's sitting right over there. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he taking it easy. Yeah, yeah. Taking it easy. Yeah. Taking it easy. Yeah. So we want to thank you guys for coming out uh, tonight. I just want to say that this is the Itch Your Perspective Talk Show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We do have a website, streaming live from the vi.com. Um, this is TV, and then we also have streaming live from the VI.com radio, which is over there. And uh, we, don't, we have no show tomorrow, but we'll be back on Thursday, which is the 28th. We've got another show lined up. Right. So on that note, we're out. You guys have a good evening and be safe. Thank Peace. you. Thank you.